If you left it here, bringing your car into my place, expecting me to get rid of the evidence. That's not how it was. Stop lying. Stop lying. Bringing him out to death not going to fix it. You reckon? Hey. Where are you taking him? Somewhere it? quiet where nobody would be watching. I've told you the truth, man. Get the hell off of him now. Or what? You'll take out an injunction. I'll have you banged up for ABH. Great. Maybe we'll end up being cellmates. Except I've got witnesses. Where's you? What have you got? His confession. I didn't hear him admit anything. I did. Do you want me to beat it out of him again? You even think about it and I'm calling the police. Save me the bother. Then you better get yourself an expensive lawyer because he has already got one. Okay, explain to me this. Why has his car got her paint on it? Which car? His car? That was stolen. Yeah, and we know who by, don't we? Prove it or let him go. Last chance. Okay. There's no need to rush this, is there? I'm not finished with you yet. Are you hungry? Daddy made upside down spaghetti. It's just spaghetti on toast turned upside down. Well, you surprised me. The thing is, I'd love to stay in all, but I only came round to drop this off. Right. OK. The thing is, we don't normally let her have the fizzy drinks because of the e-numbers and the caffeine. Oh, right. Well, then, I probably shouldn't have bought you these. Can I have them? One. OK, so long as you stick the rest in the cupboard and share them with Arthur. <laughs> right, well, that's me. I won't keep you. What? You're going already? Come round, you said. So I did. For about 30 seconds? Hold on. Yesterday, you wouldn't wipe me off your shoe. Now I'm your new Bezzy. I told you, this isn't about what I think. You can give her five minutes, can't you? To do what? Tell her fairy tales about what a great cop her mum was. Play with her. Do a drawing. Do a drawing. Well, I don't know. I'm as in the dark here as you are. Do you want to watch Frozen with me? Bit of a chick flick, isn't it? How, how about something a bit shorter? Dressing up. I thought you didn't want to use your dressing up box anymore, sweetheart. Ross is different. You'll still be here when I get back, won't you? What do you take me for? What if he does go to the police? He's sort down. Well, he just deals with it himself. I told you I'll take care of it. Take care of what? Well? The car that hit Moira. That was you? Well, I had no idea it was her. I thought they'd driven away. Well, did you even stop to check? Yes, of course I did. Yeah, well, obviously not hard enough, Kieran. Eating him up's not gonna help, especially when Kane just did it for free. What, he knows? Right, well, then you need to call the police. No, I can't. Yeah, well, you have to, all right? Cos when he comes back, and oh, he will, you're gonna need them. You don't understand. I stole the car back and burnt it out. Insane! Kieran, where are you going? What, you sure it was him? He admitted it. Yeah, well, so would Edna if my dad threatened to strangle her. Where is he now? I'm loading Zach's shotgun knowing him. Oh, and you didn't think to stop him? What, have him turn on me? Now you're right, thanks. Well, we can't go up there. We're supposed to be in court in half an hour. Babe, you're not even ready. What are you doing? There's no need. It was my solicitor dropping all the charges. What? How come? No, I did. He just said, let me go. Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> So go on, who have you had to pay off? That's just it, I didn't. You don't think your mum came good, do you? No, mum don't do come in good. Bales must have been bluffing. This better wash off. Hold still. Mm -hmm. There. <laughs> Angelina Jolie? You're the pirate, Captain Silly, and I'm the first mate. Ah, sound. So I'm a sort of joyrider at sea. We have to look for buried treasure. Well, how about we look for that bracelet of yours? What bracelet? The one I gave your dad for you. What, he must have given it to you. I don't think my daddy likes you. Let you into a secret. Not many people do. I do. After Mummy went to the stars, I stopped doing dressing up. We're doing it now. That's because you made her happy. I see her sometimes when I go like this. I can see her now. She's smiling because I told her I'd joke. <laughs> Don't be sad. 
I'm not. So what joke did you tell her? What do you call a pig that does karate? I don't know. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is it? Classic car. Yeah, I can see that. Can you not be more specific? A flash one. Look, it doesn't matter as long as it goes fast. I want him to drive us away to our honeymoon in it. Why come to me? Because I have looked everywhere. I thought maybe you could help me. I can give it a go, I suppose, yeah. Thank you. He's like a little boy around those things. God knows why. We sat now for an automatic parking any day. I thought you had a meeting. Yeah, well, I've just had it. Anything I should know about? Nope. Let me know how you get on. See you later. What was that? You tell me. Cut the games, will you? On me playing games, is it? I'm not the one hiring people to frighten the life out of her before I get married to her. She asked me to get you a car as a present, actually. You know what people do when they're in love. And I'm supposed to feel guilty. <laughs> I don't believe you. Chrissy's fine. She's a survivor. And like they say, if it doesn't kill you, I'm not scaring her half to death. That's all right, is it? Well, there's an idea. Why don't you put it in your wedding vows, eh? Please, just hear me out. What? Well, while you explain how you smashed a car into someone. Not just anyone. One of my closest friends then left her for dead. I didn't know she was there. It's the truth. When I realised, I went straight to my dad. All that time in the pub, you never said anything. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Well, so how come you went with me to see her? That was when I started to put it together. I just wanted to see if it was true. To make sure she wouldn't drop you in it. Oh, God, Kieran, she could have died. <laughs> what, you think I don't know that? I feel sick at what could have happened. I screwed up. Badly. But I want to put it right. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Right, that's my cue to... Typical. Invites me around to watch a film and then sparks out. You're welcome to watch it again if you want. Tempting. But... It's funny how she's taken to you. I mean, she's completely freaked out with her mentioned dressing up. Well, keep it to yourself or I'll be doing kids' parties next. You might want to take that off first. <laughs> About the bracelet. Oh, forget it. It was, uh, it was a stupid idea. No, it wasn't. Truth is, I threw it away. That was wrong of me. Right, well... Seriously, you know, you have fancy dressing up. What I'm trying to say is... She'd love to see you again. What's he doing here? Before you have another go, I only came round it as a Just favour. Get out of my house. Now. Right. Well, thanks for the hospitality. I'll be in touch about coming round again. I know what you're thinking, but I only did it because it's what she wanted. Well, as long as it's what she wanted, then that's all right. To hell with the fact that you invited a psycho carjacker into our house. Well, you never lay a finger on her, would he? But it's all right, he did with me. Well, no, no, of course not. And I know it's not what you want to wear, but you should have seen her with him all. She was like a different person, they both were. So I'm supposed to forget uh, everything he did to me? I'm not saying that. But if you could have seen her, she's playing at dressing up. You still should have asked me. I couldn't because I knew how you'd feel. So you just went ahead anyway? Once. That was all. Except it's not. I just heard you invite him again. Maybe I'm the one who shouldn't be here. Yeah.
Put these down, yeah. Oh, thank you. You know, if you're going to be my kitchen boy, you could at least wear an apron. What of my work clothes? Who said you'd be wearing anything underneath? <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Listen, I might have to go out for a bit later. Can't it wait? You've only just got in. Yeah, well, I promised I'd see this bloke about a little job. Look, I might even come back and cut you something. What will you wear your special apron? Great, Mum. Hmm. Well, hiya. What do you want? Keen. You've not told her then? Told me what? You sure you want to do this? I, um, <clears throat> I came because of Kieran. Saying you're paid to do his dirty work, has he? But will somebody just tell me what you're talking about? The car that hit you. Oh, Vanessa, you are getting me on. I'm so, so sorry. He did this to me? He swears he didn't know you were there. What? He didn't know he hit me, that he, he left me lying in a ditch? What he did, he, it was completely unforgivable. Yeah, he got that right. He'll do anything to put it right. Yeah, except have the balls to come up here and tell us himself. Hang on. You knew about this? Thought this might lift your spirits. Oh, thanks. No, I'm not sure it's mine that need lifting. Oh. You did your best. Ali would understand that. I'm not sure Amelia will. A little heart was set on Rachel being at the wedding. We could always have another stab at going undercover, if you think it would help. No, you're getting off on calling me a slapper. Well, no, 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 I just meant... <laughs> Relax, I'm just teasing. Oh, right. I'm not sure there's much point. They clearly haven't got a clue where Rachel is. Pity. Still can't believe you went along with it. What, because I'm such a stuffed shirt? No, of course not. But it was a bit out there. Maybe I enjoy taking a few risks. Every now and then. Please, Moira, at least let me try and explain. Or explain how you left me for dead. You know what? Save your pathetic excuses for the police. No, no, please, you can't. He could have killed me. Yeah, but he didn't. Well, can we at least talk about it first? You know what? I'm done with talking. Don't you even try walking out of here. Do you think I'm going to stay while he sends his bit of skirt up here to beg for him? But it was my idea to come here, not He's his. He's laughing at us. Him and his jumped-up suit of a dad. I'm sorry. Was it me that was hit here or your ego? Right, Moira, look, I know this is bad. But please don't call the police. Why? So you can protect your little lover boy? I thought we were mates. We are. I'm as disgusted with him as you are. Yeah, right. Look, what, what if it had been Adam? Adam? When he stole that ketamine, you begged me not to say anything. Oh, dear, compare him to this. Not all I'm saying is I put my job on the line for him when you asked me to. And for Ross when he got shot. Because our friendship meant that much. Right. So I suppose this is payback. Put us packs for you to rough the cars up. No, just the fiancés. Oh, I suppose I deserved that. So what do you want anyway, I'm busy? To bring you this. And to say sorry for being a jerk. It meant a lot to Chrissy, you getting the ring back. I should have been more grateful. So we're done? Can we start over? Why? Because I'd like us to get on. And because you're going to be finding me my dream car. You don't deserve her, do you know that? Chrissy, I know. So... Mates? I'll think about it. You know what? Call him if you want. I can't stop you. I just thought you'd understand, that's all. Oh, yeah, we understand, all right. So why don't you go and tell Kieran, nice try, but he's not getting away with it. Vanessa, wait. She's right, I do, or her. You owe her nothing. You what, call him? 
don't believe this. And Emma? He won't do anything. Oh, you reckon? If I can live with it, so can you. So now we're even. But just for the record, I didn't do this as a friend. Because as of now, we're not. So what are we having? Uh, usual, I guess. Oh, babes, you could do better than that. We're celebrating. Hey, what are you celebrating? Hello, any chance of a drink here? She's down in the cellar. Go on, what are you celebrating? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Drops all the charges. They'll let you go then. Mm hmm. No thanks to you. I'm pleased for you, Pete, for both of you. <sighs> oh. Amazing performance. I'm really welling up here. Oh, come on, Dad. Oh, you're not falling for it, are you? The only reason she's really pleased for us is because it means she gets off as well. Except I don't, Debs, do I? Get off. What are you on about? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? I gave the police what they wanted. What you wanted. Me. Want to tell me what that was about? What well, you heard. What, so you just walked into the police station, confessed everything? Let's just say enough. Why? This is what you wanted, I thought. Well, now you've got it. For once in my life, I'm putting your happiness before mine. Believe me, no one's more surprised than I am. So what about Noah? What's going to happen to him if you get sent down? He's been taken care of. And with any luck, they won't be able to make it stick anyway. Well, what if they do? Well, I'll survive. I always have done before. Now, you hang on to him, you hear? You've got a good in there. Sometimes wonder how you did it. What? This. Doing good all the time. It does kind of go with the job. Yeah, but it doesn't have to suck when it all goes wrong. It didn't go well with Ali. Try telling her that if something bad had happened to Rachel, then someone would have heard by now. You really believe that? Mm. You did your best. We both did. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Contrary to popular belief, Vickers can't work miracles. Only he can do that. Yeah. Well, I wish you'd hurry up and pull one out the back. Hey! You're back early? Swimming was cancelled. Salim's dad gave me a lift. Have you been crying? No. No, I just... I nodded off on the sofa. Come and sit here, will you? Why? Because I asked you to. Right, listen to me. Whatever happens, no one is more important to me than you are, OK? I knew it. You knew what? We're moving again. <sighs> no, we are not moving. I'm allowed to tell you that I love you, Anna. Because I do. I love you so much. And that's all? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Come here. <sighs> She's flat out on her bed. I'm so sorry, Laurel. That was a stupid thing to do. Do you know what really hurts? is that I'm so low down on your list of priorities, is that it didn't even occur to you how I might feel. I may as well not be here. That's not true, Isn't Hannah. It? It's, it's just everything with Donna. Oh, Donna. Donna, 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 Donna. It wasn't my fault she died, Laurel. I know it wasn't. And my heart breaks for that little girl up there. But do you know what the worst thing is? There's a tiny part of me that is actually jealous. Yeah, I know. 
I'm disgusted with myself. I mean, how can anyone be that selfish? But there's a voice that keeps saying, maybe if I died, Marlon would have loved me like that too. And Ross coming round, you know, that's not about April. That is actually about you. Oh. You're the one that can't let go of Donna. That's ridiculous. Is it? Yes, it is. Look, I know I've been a rubbish husband, but it isn't easy trying to be everything to everyone, trying to keep all these different balls in the and air. that's why I'm just another ball. No, of course. And I keep I... thinking maybe if I left, everything would be OK. I wouldn't be in the way. What? Except I can't leave because we have got all our beautiful children. So do you know what? I'm going to stay and we're going to muddle through and everything's going to be just fine because that's what marriage is about, isn't it? Sticking together, come what may. You make it sound like some kind of death sentence. <laughs> oh, just go, Marla. The race to the finish line has begun. Jimmy was the first to leave camp as the result of your votes. And the pressure is on now because any one of them could go next. Join us to find out who's next to leave on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, and it's next. <laughs>